and my name is Jacob Nairup and I did uh, a MSc in Political Science and Political Economy. And I wrote about the local election in Denmark, um, which just took place at the same time I was here at LSE. I had a course in uh, programming and, uh, and web scraping and like um, really technical. On the other hand, I had a course about political science and like who gets the power in classical political science topic. So I wanted to combine the two of them. So I did some um, quite, I did some programming where I did some web streaming and basically downloaded a lot of data. And then I tried to combine them with the topic um, uh, I got, or the subjects I got from the political science course. I think I started thinking about my dissertation around Christmas last year, uh, after Jim Kilmer's term. And then I started developing my ideas during the, the term, the uh, Lent term. I had the basic foundation, I knew what to write about, and I had the data before the summer term, but I, I, didn't, uh, I didn't start writing before, before the summer term and the end of summer term. I, I spoke with my teacher in, uh, in statistics, and, uh, and he helped me uh, designing my, my script for doing web scraping. Um, and I also talked with a few other teachers about uh, my ideas about my topic. So I tried to like, use the, the resources that LSE has, uh, the academic resources. When you go to LSE, there are so many opportunities like um, lectures uh, and you can do, you can follow courses that you don't necessarily do the exam in and you can, and they all like to study courses and so forth. So I really advise people to, to spend time doing other things than just focusing on their program and their, their immediate studies, but also to, to gain, to use all the other resources that LSE has, LSE careers and so forth. If I think I'm especially interested in like why some countries are poor, why some are rich from an institutional approach. And I think um, LSE gave me some tools, tools both um, like, uh, quanti like anal analytic tools, like quantitative and qualitative re uh, research tools. And but it also gave me a theoretical framework for thinking about and uh, uh, why I'd like to, to solve my research questions. Right now I'm, I'm doing a second master in, in political science. Um, and I think the LSE master made me think more about which way I want to focus on my second master in Copenhagen. And aside from doing my second master in Copenhagen, I'm um, working in consulting, management consulting, as a quantitative analyst at, at Deloitte Consulting. Um, and I definitely gained a lot of knowledge from here, in, especially in statistics, that I use in my, in my present job. And I also think I learned a lot of tools that I can use in my second master in Copenhagen. I did a lot of rational choice theory, game theory, and so forth. Um, which is, is a definite advantage when you go back studying or elsewhere because I wasn't able to have these courses back in Copenhagen. I think I am going to apply for a somewhat international career, at least in the near future. Um, right now I'm back in Copenhagen, I'm finishing up my second master in, in Copenhagen. And afterwards I, I think I'll try to apply for jobs in, in, the, in developing countries or in, maybe in London or, or the US and then maybe a PhD in sometime in the future.